Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Tailwind to schedule hundreds of pins to your Pinterest account in five minutes or less. Seriously, this is the easiest thing to do and it can be done using just a few simple tools. So first, you need a Pinterest account. That's kind of a given. And you also need a Tailwind account. Now, Tailwind is an amazing tool. I use it every day and it saves me hours and hours of time. Um, and I highly recommend getting a free trial of a Tailwind account if you don't already have one. I have a link for you below this video. It is an affiliate link, but it will allow you to use a free trial of Tailwind to see if you like it before you decide to make the small investment. Now, once you have your Tailwind account, you will also want to download the Chrome browser extension. This is what I use to schedule hundreds of pins in a matter of minutes. So what you need to do, first you need the Google Chrome, Chrome browser. If you do not have the Chrome browser, you need to download that first. And then once you have that downloaded, then you need to get the Tailwind browser extension. So you can type in Tailwind Publisher or, you, or Tailwind Extension. Both of them will pull it up. It's called Tailwind Publisher in the Chrome Web Store. Click on that. And then this button, I'm not really sure. I think it'll say Add to Chrome. I've already added it. But you'll click on a button over here that will add it. And it will add it as a little browser extension button right up here. This is what it'll look like. This is the Tailwind button. So once you have that added, now you can start scheduling pins really quick and easy. So let me show you my process for how to do this. There's a couple different ways. Um, one of my favorite ways is to find someone that I follow that I trust that I know pins good content. You definitely want to make sure you are repinning and using this strategy with someone that you know pins really good content because this strategy you're not going in and following every single pin through the link which I highly recommend doing because you don't want to be pinning crap you don't want to be pinning stuff that links to spam or links to nothing so this strategy works best if you're pinning content from someone you know pins really good content another strategy is to do it from a group board because you definitely, um, group boards are very reciprocal and you want to be pinning from those boards if you're pinning content to them. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna do an example from my blogging tips and tools group board. And once you have that board open, you're just gonna click on your little browser extension pin and it'll load these pins from the board onto this, onto this window. And you can go through and you can just click on each pin. And once it's highlighted in blue here, you know it's selected and it'll show you down below that it's selected. So I'm going to click on some different pins that catch my eye. And I also look at the saves when I'm going through here. And if something has a lot of saves, that tells me, you know, okay, this is a good performing pin. This one you know, catches people's eye, they really tend to like it, and it should perform well for me as well. So let's go through, and I'm going to try and get, you know, let's get a few more, see if I can get a few more pins here to show you an example. And, you know, also when you're first starting out, you might want to just kind of only pin pins that you know you know, or from people that you know, or content that you've seen before, people you trust, um, or I would recommend following the pins through to make sure that you know that they're leading to a legitimate source. Okay, then once you hit that go schedule button, sorry, I didn't mention that, but there's, I just clicked on that little go schedule button, and it's going to pull up this new window. The amazing thing about Tailwind is it has this area up here where you can select a board and it will put it to all the boards down below. So I was in a blogging tips and tools board. So I know that all of this content relates to blogging. So I want it to go on my personal blogging tips and strategy board. I also want it to go to all my group boards 
that allow content relevant to blogging. And I've created a list within Tailwind, which is another amazing feature of Tailwind. It allows you to create lists of boards. So if you have a bunch of boards about blogging or a bunch of boards about social media, then you can create lists. So I'm gonna click this blogging boards and now these 15 boards, blogging boards are all included for every single one of these pins that I just selected. How cool is that? Now I can also go through on each individual pin and add it to some other boards that might be relevant. So this one was about Instagram. So I'm gonna add it to my social media boards as well as some of my own personal boards. Okay, so you can go through each one of these pins and figure out, okay, what other, you know, boards do some of these make sense for? Let's find, let's see if I can find another one. Um, this one's about your email list. So I'm going to add this to my email marketing and strategy board. And let's see, here's another one about Instagram. So I'm going to add that again to my social media boards. Okay. Um, really simple. You can also go through and you can change the descriptions. You can add to them if you want. Um, some of them, every once in a while, you'll find one where the link doesn't work. So sometimes you have to follow that through and, and add in a link there. Um, this one does not have a description. You could go through and add a description if you want, or you can just delete it if you don't have time. So there's a little... Uh, PSA for you, make sure you have descriptions on there or, or people will probably won't repin your stuff. Okay, so once I've gone through and I think, okay, I think I've got everything I want on here. Actually, I'm going to delete this one because it's already been pinned to every single one of those boards, um, which I should have pointed this out. But all of these, if you noticed, these are all highlighted in yellow around them. That's Tailwind's way of telling me, hey, dummy, you've already pinned this pin to this board, which is really helpful so that you're not pinning the same stuff to these boards and violating some of their policies. So then you're going to hit schedule all. Oh, see, and then it gives you a notification like, hey, you don't have a URL and it will let's scroll down. It will indicate which one of these pins does not have a URL with it. And let's see. OK, it's. Is it that one? Yeah, I think. Oh, here it is. It says enter your source URL. Um, normally you could click on that, follow it through, figure out where it goes, and then enter the URL. But to save time, I'm just going to delete it. Sometimes when I'm in a rush, that's what I do. I just delete it. Um, oh, here is an example. I want to show you this of what I was talking about earlier. See how this is highlighted or it's kind of circled in yellow. That's telling me that I've already put this pin to that board. So if I don't want to put it on that board again, I can just remove it. So that's really helpful. Okay, now let's schedule all. And sometimes it takes a little bit because you've got a lot of pins here going out. And boom, now it's saying your pins have been saved. Let's close this window and then let's go to my Tailwind account. Before I did this, I had 294 pins scheduled. So let's see how many pins I have scheduled now. 468 pins. That's amazing. That's over 150 pins that I was able to schedule in a matter of minutes. Now the other thing I wanna show you, so it's gonna lump them all together. Well, I don't really want like, what is this, 15, 20 pins going out? you know, all at the same time. So just shuffle it up, hit shuffle queue. Yes, shuffle my queue. And it's just gonna shuffle all those pins, mishmash them all up. And now see how that pin is just kind of sporadically, you know, pinned throughout the next couple weeks. So it's really great. And you can just keep shuffling that queue as much as you want. Or if you see some, you know, go where you don't want them, you can shuffle them around. Tailwind makes this so easy, okay? So I want you to go ahead and do download your Tailwind, your free trial, download that browser extension, 
and test out this strategy. I really hope that this helps and saves you tons of time with your Pinterest pinning strategy. So for more great tips on how to use social media and digital marketing to grow your business, head on over to AngieGinsler.com. I'll see you there.